Today's lesson is on defining limits and using limit notation. So starting out with what is a limit? What is the definition of a limit? So a very just simple definition is a limit is the y value, a function approaches. at a given x value. Keyword approaches. The y value a function approaches at a given value. So here is some notation. So this notation, L-I-M, stands for limit. The limit of a function, f of x, as x approaches a value a equals the limit L. So once again, the limit of the function f of x as x approaches A is equal to L. Okay, so we're going to use the idea of approaches. It's getting close to 2. So what is the limit of this function? f of x equals x squared as x approaches 2. So approaches we can approach from the left, and we can approach from the right. So from the left, you can think of it, it's the limit as x approaches 2, but from the left side, the negative side of x squared. And here we're looking at the limit as x approaches 2 from the right side of the function x squared. So for today, I'm just going to look at an xy table and look at values approaching 2. Okay, so approaching 2 from the left. So 1.9, that's pretty close to 2. Can we get a little closer? Let's try 1.99. Even closer, 1.999. Plug those x values into the function x squared. 1.9 squared is 3.61. 1.99 squared is 3.9601. And 1.999, 3.996001. 3 so as you can tell, as x is approaching 2, what is y approaching? It's approaching 4. Okay, so now let's approach 2 from the right. So what's really close to 2? How about 2.1? Even closer, 2.01, and even closer, 2.001. So plug it into your function, x squared. 2.1 squared is 4.4. Then we get 4.0401. And even closer, 4.00. Four, and there's a few more decimals, but I can't quite fit them in there. So as you can see, as we're approaching 2 from the right, my y values, hey, approaching 4. Well, this seems like common sense, right? Duh, of course it's going to approach 4 from the left and from the right. And if you look here, what is the function value at 2? Well, 2 squared is 4. Now, common mistake is, oh, 4, 4, 4. That must mean that is the limit as x approaches 2, x squared, always just the same as f of 2? And no, it is not. So going to repeat that again. The limit of a function as x approaches a does not always equal the function value at a. So we're starting out, so we're starting with basic examples where you might see that they are equal sometimes. Looking at this graph, so in the box to the right of your graph, we're going to do six different examples, so make sure you have space for all of that. So I'm going to first look at the limit of this function, f of x, as x approaches 1. So we have to approach 1. So here's 1 on the x. So the y values are approaching both directions. They're approaching 
the y value negative 1 from both directions. So the limit is negative 1. Okay, so now let's look at what is the function value at 1. So approaching 1 and at 1. Well, at 1, it's an open circle. That means there is no function value at x equals 1. This is actually undefined. Okay, let's look at the next one. The limit as x approaches 2. So the limit of the function as x approaches 2. All right, let's find 2 on the x. So the graph is approaching what number? So it's approaching 2. So from both the left and the right, the graph at x is 2 is approaching the y value of 2. Okay, so what is the function value at 2? Well, here we have an open circle, so it's not here, but above it, oh, well, this is a function value at 2. So at 2, the function value is 3. Okay, so the last set, let's look at the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 3. So here's the x value negative 3. The y values as I'm approaching negative 3 from the left and from the right, it's approaching the y value 1. And then what is the function value at negative 3? Similar to that last one, if you look here, it's approaching 1. But the function value is not 1. The function value is the closed circle. So at negative 3, the function value is 0. Okay, we're going to be looking at limits of all different kinds of functions in this unit. But just starting out, like a simple polynomial. So a polynomial, I just think of a continuous function. I've got um, x squared. I've got x cubed something x to the fourth. So these continuous functions, polynomials, all you have to do, uh, it is similar to just like the uh, function value. All we have to do to find the limit is plug the number into the function, plug the x value into the function. So these are really nice and easy. I always like when these pop up because they're always a real easy question. So let's do three examples together. So the first one, the limit of x squared as x approaches 5, that's just a simple polynomial. So we do get to just plug in 5 in for x squared. So 5 squared is 25. So then the limit is also 25. So here's two more examples. I want you to pause the video and just try them on your own, finding limits of polynomials by just plugging in. Okay, you should get zero and nine. So that is your full lesson on kind of the introduction to what is a limit. Good luck.